Susan, that gunshot victim is apparently in surgery right now at the hospital. They were shot apparently really badly in the elbow, so it'll be some time before police are actually given a chance to talk to this uh, victim about what they endured. However, uh, we're also known that uh, the suspects were actually were downgraded now to two suspects. Initially, it was thought that there were three because it was thought that these men had actually had a getaway driver, but it turns out they just ran down the street. Now, here is some video of uh, this, uh, this house in question when this all happened. So this is at uh, the 9700 block of Longden Avenue in Temple City. Now, police say they got a call at about 4.30 this morning uh, about a home invasion and a gunshot victim. Now, when they got here, they found two women zip-tied uh, along with a baby that was unharmed in the house. That gunshot victim, again, had been taken to the hospital. Uh, police were told that apparently the men, uh, these suspects, were inside the home waiting for this victim uh, when he got home at around 4 a.m. last night. So again, this, uh, when this happened, these two men ran down the street. Uh, police and the sheriff's department have been looking for them ever since. Uh, there's not too much suspect description available right now, or at least that's according to the sheriff's department. In the meantime, neighbors say they're frightened. Oh, I feel really bad and sad, um, and like I feel scared about that. Just like kind of my real reaction right now. We've been having a big problem for years now of uh, burglaries in the city. And uh, we've been having people trespassing in our properties. Uh, it's been going on for years. And uh, they recently got it under control. And uh, it seems to be better now around here. But it still happens in, on occasion. If the victims and the suspects that robbed his house did know each other, Sheriff's Department says that they have not been told that yet. Uh, in the meantime, it is worth noting that, again, two suspects are currently being sought after. We just had a police update of a few moments ago, so a lot more information on this story as it is still developing. Reporting live in Temple City, Travis Rice, Fox 11 News.